A quandary over special education funding could put a kink in the state's budget. Part of the problem, an escalating pile of money the state might have to pay back to the federal government for underfunding those services in the first place. But today, there's a call for funneling even more resources towards special ed students. KXAN's Wes Rappaport talked with parents and lawmakers at the Capitol. It is immoral that one of the most prosperous states in the most prosperous country is not able to provide an adequate education. Two of Anna Smith's four kids are in special education programs. As the state works out a legal battle with the feds, Smith says she and her family have to fight for services. I can't count how many times that we have had to go, like I call, go into battle mode so we can advocate for, for my two sons. The state estimates it could be forced to return $223 million in federal funds Texas hasn't adequately matched. We're told the state could pay about half of that to avoid a penalty for 2019, but it's not in the budget right now, which is advancing. We're asking for lawmakers to consider a budget amendment that will allocate the extra dollars in state funds that are needed to cover the loss in federal aid for students with disabilities. Beyond that, a bipartisan group of lawmakers want to allocate even more money for students with special needs. This is not just a special education issue, it is an education issue that affects all of our students. If we're not funding this area, we're hurting all kids and hurting our state. The Texas Education Agency says it's in discussions with the feds and lawmakers to quote, ensure special education services are not negatively impacted. But will Texas Texas act fast enough before the session ends next month? We still have time. We're running out, but we still have time. And the conference committee, uh, it's not it, it, until that ink is dry, we have some room to do some things. Wes Rappaport, KXAN News. Any additional changes to how spending would happen in conference committee when lawmakers from both chambers get together to negotiate details from their versions of the budget that pass their respective chamber. Governor Abbott has appointed seven people to the continuing advisory committee for special education. The group will provide policy guidance on special education and related services for children with disabilities in Texas. Their terms will expire in February of 2021.